Hello YouTube, I'm David Frankel and I'm here in the rather uninteresting Meryton Park in Hanforth. Not much here, just a playground, tennis court and a... Uh, oh, there's a miniature railway. Now, a couple of months ago when I was drawing up a list of planned videos I was planning to make, uh, I randomly came across uh, the Cheadle Hume South Park Miniature Railway and realised it was at a spot where I'd cycled past for two years and it was right close to where I lived. So I went and visited it, that was a few months ago, and pretty much the same thing has happened again except this one is even closer to where I've lived for the past 11 years and yet I've had absolutely no idea that it was here the entire time. It is the Hanforth Meryton Park Miniature Railway. I've come today Last time I made the mistake of not coming on a Sunday, today I am here on a Sunday when it's supposed to be operating, but it looks pretty desolate, I'm guessing, because it's raining, nobody's bothered to bring their kids here, and so they've not bothered to actually run the trains. I do wonder if anybody's in. Now, quite interestingly, there's a circuit here, but there's a, there seem to be two different systems. There's a flat system and an elevated system which kind of run parallel to each other. There's two stations as well. There's the station for the elevated track, and then further on there's a station for the flat track. And I'm guessing this device here is what is used, or what was used, to get trains between the two systems. Um, but the little piece of track that connected this system to the flat track seems to have disappeared. You can tell quite clearly that it was a piece of track there. So uh, I'm guessing because only the flat track is connected to the building that the elevated track is now abandoned. As it turned out, my off-the-cuff theory was in fact wrong because the two tracks are two entirely different gauges. The track bed which I thought was disused is actually new. At the moment the track lift is used to load the smaller trains on and off specialised vans which bring them to and from the railway, but the plan is to adapt the track lift to be able to lift both gauges of train. Though the railway wasn't running that day, the operators who run the railway were in the shed at the time and they invited me in to take a look at some of the trains. These were the trains for the larger gauge flat track. Here I am at the station, waiting for a train that doesn't seem to be coming. So today is Sunday the 18th of August, I'm leaving my house today. I've got a million things to pack, but you know, instead of doing that, I've come back to ride the Hanforth Miniature Railway, and this time I'm joined by Duncan, who's also going to come with me to Brookside in a bit. So, there's two tracks here, as I mentioned last time. There's the lower standard 7 inch, 7 and a quarter inch, what do you say? 7 inch. 7 inch, and then a raised 5 and half. five and a half inch track, which is similar to the one they have at Cheadle Hume. Uh, with a bit of luck, we'll be able to ride both.
Unlike the trains of the main circuit, which live at the railway, the trains for the elevated track are brought in by their owners, and since none were on the site at the time of our visit, we didn't get to ride the elevated track that day. Hello, my name's Ken. Uh, I'm from this uh, Hanforth Miniature Railway. I've been here about 10 years now building this railway. But before that, when I was 15 year old, I started on the real railway, the big trains, on the steam engines, at Longsight in Manchester. And from, I went from Longsight to Gorton, Gorton Tank, where they used to build big steam engines, and, and Garrett's at Bay of Peacocks. Oh, was a, and I, know, I stayed on the railway the rest of my life. Finish up as a driver, I drove the steam engines, the diesel engines, the electric engines, and then, would you believe it, the Virgin trains. I finished up on the Virgin with, with Richard. Wow. I, know, I retired uh, from Richard and uh, and I've, I couldn't, couldn't miss the railway that much. I've come here, onto this railway. So how long's this railway been running? About 10 years now we've been here, but it's only been running about five because it took a long time to build it. This is a new railway and we're going to enjoy ourselves and we'll, we'll be here another hundred years. And you operate every Sunday between every 11 and... Every Sunday when the weather's like this, we'll run. But when, if it's raining or fog, mm -hmm. snow, we won't yeah. run. Fair enough. Because we're all old blokes. <laughs> Duncan and I carried on towards Brookside, which is the topic of another video, but on our way back we stopped off at the Cheadle Hume South Park Railway, which Duncan had never visited before. Unfortunately, the trains weren't running that day as there was some micro-gauge special event on, but at least we got to look at some interesting trains sort of dancing along the border between model and miniature. Welcome to a little bonus feature I'm just sticking on the end of this video. I've come just round the corner to Hanforth Station, this was actually filmed about a week later. Um, but just round the corner is Hanforth Station, which is of course well known for having a whole bunch of signs. And I believe this one has just been refurbished very recently, I've just put it back. There's also loads of uh, signs from different railway companies pretending, well pretend to be different railway companies. You've got that one, not something Chinese, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that one's from Netherlands Railways, and so on and so forth. You've also got a sign from the DLR. Mersey Rail. Deutsche Bahn, the London Underground, the Manchester Metrolink, and SNCF. Anyway, thank you for watching and please subscribe. <laughs>